Okay guys, um, next part, part three, we're going to just get our character ready for uh, putting into a game. So I've pretty much finished everything now. I have drawn my character, I've filled in the colours. Um, in some cases, if I just zoom in a little bit, in some cases I have changed the brown lines to black, as in the facial features here. Um, in some cases I have made the brown lines the same colour as in the yellow band on the hat and the blue, blue part of the hat. In some cases I have simply just deleted the brown lines as around the hands and the rest of the, the rest of the body. I uh, had to put in the eyes and I had to put in the buttons there as extra, extra shapes and that brown line that was down the centre of the shirt, I made that flat. So it's pretty all right to go. Okay, next step to make this character ready for a game. We need to group all the parts together so there's lots of little parts to the character. So click on your uh, selection tool right at the top there, the black arrow. Uh, you're going to start on the left hand side over here and click and drag so you draw a rectangle around everything completely. Don't miss anything out. Let go and it selects everything so everything's now shown with all dots. Okay, then you're going to go to modify and group. Okay, and it'll come up with a little uh, blue, thin blue rectangle around it. And then finally we're going to make this a symbol. So the keyboard shortcut is F8. Or you can go uh, modify, convert to symbol. You can see F8 is a shortcut there. Just type in the name of your character. Okay, and make sure it's a movie clip, not button or graphic. Registration point, doesn't normally matter, but I'm going to animate this character very simply soon. So I'm going to choose, there's nine different positions. The default is top left. I'm going to choose the middle one, like that, and just click OK. 